Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to Facebook Live on Sunday, November 10th. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some people to pop in. I had some technical difficulties today, so I'm just wondering how things are going to work tonight. I'm kind of checking my computer here. Oh, I see people popping in now. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it even working? There we are. Okay, this will help me see the comments a little bit better. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Yeah, so I'm in Facebook jail again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go on and on about it. It is what it is, and um, that just seems to be a normal thing for me now. Honestly, I wasn't on Facebook at all today, and I was on a private group between me and my partner from Canada, Ashley. And I posted a couple questions for her under one of her cards, and she answered me, and then I went to ask another question, and bam, it wanted me to change my password. It says there was suspicious activity on my account. I had to change all my things. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't win, but I'm happy to be here tonight. I'm actually on Steve's account so that I could get in here. Um, Facebook can't keep me down. <laughs> had a wonderful weekend. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Linda. Welcome. Suzette, so happy to see you here. Um, I went to my mom's house for a few days. That was really nice. And my nephew actually popped up there too. So that was pretty cool. Got to spend a little time with him. And um, I went out hunting. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was thinking. It was so cold. I stayed okay for a while and then my hands started getting cold because I wasn't wearing big heavy gloves. I just had my fall gloves on and I thought, you know, I better get down and go back to the house. And by the time I got down out of the tree and went over, I know I ride a four wheeler to my stand. I'm lazy. <laughs> by the time I got over to the four wheeler, I couldn't even get my case open, like the clasps on my bow case because my fingers were so cold. So um, I was like, oh, Kelly, you're just crazy. I didn't see anything. I didn't see a squirrel. I didn't see any deer. I saw nothing. So, hmm. yeah, that was kind of a bummer. And then getting over the creek. So like at my mom's house, we go down this lane on the four-wheeler, and then there you go down like this and go across the creek and back up. The ruts are so deep in there that it was like scraping the undercarriage of the four-wheeler going over the creek to get to my stand wasn't bad coming back i like stopped and i'm like i don't even know if i can make it up there that's where steve tipped the four-wheeler on the end with the deer on the back last year so um i was like oh my gosh i got back up to the house i'm like oh my gosh that creek is crazy i almost died and my mom's like what happened i'm like i'm just kidding i didn't almost die nothing happened i slid around a little bit and away we went <laughs> i was just being overly dramatic <laughs> We went out to eat, we went out for fish fry on Friday night, and that was delicious. And then I decided I better get back home because Steve was coming back from Nebraska, and he got home safe and sound. And um, he made me breakfast today. We had cheesy scrambled eggs and venison tenderloin mm, with toast. It was delicious. So my cook is back. And I'm happy to see him because I did not enjoy shoveling all the snow while he was gone. <laughs> we have a snowblower, but I don't know how to use it. Like, I've never used it. And I went in the garage, and it's leaking gas all over the floor. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to try that, right? Nope, I'll get the shovel out. I know how that works. <laughs> it was good exercise. Yeah. So what did you guys do this weekend? Did you have... Any exciting plans? Did you just hang out? I love to just hang out for a weekend. I think that's my favorite thing to do. Hi, Carol. Hi, Heather. Karen, welcome. So, I'll let you guys tell me what you did over the weekend. And I'm going to get started with some announcements. Of course, you guys know we have the Christmas Time is Here suite in full swing. I have an online class for this. And um, the registration for that is coming in pretty steady. So that's exciting. Thank you guys. Thank you to those of you who have ordered that online class. The class is eight different cards plus a bonus card using this suite of products. If you order the suite from me, 
you get the class for free plus a bonus cardstock pack if you order by noon on the 15th of November. So, and this is 2019 for people who might be watching later. Um, you get a free online class and a bonus cardstock pack with all nine cards. So everything will be cut for you. Now I wanna clarify that um, <clears throat> there's no designer series paper in there. You're getting it in your suite. So you're gonna use your own and you also get the ribbon and the glitter dots. So it's just cardstock, no designer series paper, no embellishments. This is just a cardstock pack, but you do get exclusive video tutorials for each one of the nine cards and written instructions with dimensions so that if you miss that deadline, you can still order the online class from me and you can cut your own card stuff. But I started offering that service and holy cow, do you guys love that? I'm excited. I also started um, offering a cardstock pack to my team members. So if you're part of my team as a discount shopper or a business builder, I am giving special pricing to them. They can just order the cardstock pack because they can get the online classes for free. So something to think about, right? Everybody's a happy shopper on my team. Okay, um, you'll find all the information for that. There's a button in the right-hand side column on my blog, www.estampabove.com. Right hand column, go look for online classes and you will find it. And Heather says she stayed home and did some stamping. Good for you. Oh, and Char worked on fundraiser cards. Yay, you! All right. And the Cleveland Browns won. The Packers won today, too. They were playing the Panthers. So, yay, Packers. Yay, Browns. The Bears won, too. My um, granddaughter, Andy, is a huge Bears fan. They won also. So that was exciting. We also have our new paper trimmer. I think I'm going to have a Wednesday tip video about the paper trimmer, giving you some little tips and tricks with that. The paper trimmer is fabulous, you guys. I have been using it steady, and I absolutely love it. What's stuck up there? Oh, designer paper. I was working on my Peaceful Bows kit class. So I not only have a class using the Christmas Time is Here suite that's available. That is an online class with a pre-cut cardstock pack. I also have a class using the Peaceful, and somebody corrected me. It's not bows. It's bows. Peaceful bows. And I don't even know what I was thinking because I know that. But whoever corrected me, thank you because I don't know what I was thinking. This suite, or this, this is not a suite, this is a bundle. I have a kit class going out. It includes designer series paper, um, four different colors of our foil sheets, linen thread, um, the metallic pearls and gold and silver, and you get four different designs, two of each for a total of eight cards with that kit. And everything does come in that kit. Anything we use for ribbon on the cards, um, if it's not included with the product in the kit, we include that. Everything is cut, ready to roll, except your designer series paper and your foil because it comes in your kit. You get six by six, um, half a pack of the foils in silver, gold, copper, and champagne. And then you get a half a pack of the Regals designer series paper that's six by six. So I tell you in the videos, you need to take this and cut it two by five and a half or whatever. But um, they're pretty cool and the registrations are also coming in for those hot and heavy. Um, I'm gonna cut off registrations on the Peaceful Bows kit class on the 15th. I'm also going to cut off the pre-cut cardstock packs for the Christmas Time Is Here class on the 15th. I'm hoping to have the Christmas Time Is Here class out in the mail, the pre-cut cardstock by the 21st. And then the um, Peaceful Bows, I'm hoping to have out by the 27th in the mail. <clears throat> now, the online class will be coming to you on the 15th, and um, meaning the videos and the PDF and all of that. And I want to let you guys know, so I don't know what's happening to emails, and perhaps they're going to your spam folders, but when you order an online class from me, before you contact me and ask me where the PDF file is, please do a search in your emails to look for it because I'm getting a lot of emails asking me for the PDF, which I've already sent for all the other classes. And it's fine if you can't find it. Don't go, oh, I'm not gonna bother her. 
but I want you to look for it first because all those emails are extremely time consuming to do double sending to everybody. So I just wanted to let you know that. And if you can't find it, what you need to do is go into your emails. There's a little search bar. Search for Kelly Atchison or a stamp above or the name Let It Snow or Peaceful Bows. Um, do a search and the email should pop up with the online class PDF file in it. So I just wanted to let you know how to do that. And if you don't find it, please by all means contact me and I will be happy to send it again. Because sometimes your security on your email server is jacked up and it will throw my stuff into a spam file. Nothing we can do about it except you could put my email address in your address book and that will help prevent that. So, Jean got her gathered together. Jean, you weren't the one that it got lost, were you? I don't think so. I'm glad you got your gathered together. I had one that got lost, like it said it delivered to her house, but it never did. So, that was a bummer, and we were, I was working with somebody on that. So, um, that's all the... Uh, advertisements I have there please don't forget to share my video I always appreciate that whether you're watching now or later on YouTube all of it helps me out give me a thumbs up don't give me any thumbs down I'm working hard here giving free videos and I don't know why people do thumbs down right it's like really <laughs> don't be that person <laughs> and then I know some people do it just because I say not to <laughs> Not you guys, but other people. Anyways, I wanted to share some beautiful cards that I got this week. Um, Sharon Jones sent me this gorgeous card using the um, uh, gleaming, what's it called? Somebody just said it, and I have such a terrible memory. Brightly gleaming, yay! And look at how pretty this is. Ah, it is absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much is it dark in here you guys i feel like i think i lost another light bulb that's what happened so the light will be better when i turn my camera around i'm so sorry but i see another light bulb blue on my ceiling fan here so that was from sharon jones and then where's the next one i got a really cute card from my friend sue molden Sue has been with me from day one. Like, she's been with me all 15 years. I even, before that, I was stamping with her. And her card says, certainly wonderful news about which to be tickled pink. Congrats. And she's talking about Haley's announcement that it's a girl. So that was really cute. Thank you, Sue. I love these cards. And then I received a card from Diana. Diana Clover. And Diana said, I had to muster up a lot of courage to send you this card, LOL. Hope it doesn't fall apart. And then she said a whole bunch of really nice things. Now, why on earth would you feel the need to muster up courage to send this amazing card? You guys, look at that thing. Oh, my Lord. Like, she thought, what? It wasn't going to be good enough. I wasn't going to like it. Like, are you kidding me, Diana? This is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that just beautiful? I I still want to use this set, but I know I have to move on to Christmas stuff right now for you guys. But I love this stamp set. It is so beautiful. And she even used some of the little things that pop out of the leaves to put leaves on these little pumpkins down here with that copper foil. Is that not gorgeous? This is just outstanding. <laughs> yeah, so she had to muster up courage to send that to me. Are you kidding me? Don't ever feel like your cards are not going to be good enough for me. I know you guys think that I'm just incredibly talented, but creatively, I'm really pretty normal. Um, and, and that's just my analogy of myself. I'm a pretty normal stamper. Once in a while, I come up with something that rocks my socks. But for the most part, I'm just making normal cards. And I think that's why people like to watch my show because we make normal cards here. This, my dear, this is over the top. This is crazy cool. And so is Sharon's card. Like, look how cool that is. Look at, yeah, I love that. It's amazing. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much, all of you who sent me cards. I love them. Um, let's see. What else do I have going on here? Oh, we have to give stuff away. Yeah. Okay. So 
there's three ways to win. One of them is to leave a comment. So if you're watching, please leave a comment. Don't just um, scroll by and watch everybody else's comments. Leave a comment. You can say, hi from Idaho, hi from St. Louis, whatever. You want to make sure you leave a comment so that I can enter you in the drawings to win prizes, right? And who's going to win these beautiful copper stars? From last week, commenting is Robin Nicolacolo. No, hang on, let me see it. Nicolacos. Nicolacos. Robin from Bowling Green, Kentucky. These are going to be yours, and I have them going out with a beautiful card. I don't think there's any mail tomorrow. Is there, you guys? Can you? Can somebody let me know for sure? Because I don't want to run. I don't think there's any mail. It's. I think it's Veterans Day. So God bless, and thank all of our veterans for their service. We love you. Then, um, for sharing the video, I've got this prize. And this is the Regal 6x6. And this is going out to Heather Kohler of Menasha, Wisconsin. Heather, congratulations. And then we have, for placing an order, guess what? I got this beauty. Yeah, this is the little playful penguin set that I used mm, last week sometime. And oh, here's what I made with it. Did you guys see this? Let me show you this. Isn't that cute? And then inside, oh, yeah, gift card holder. Pretty neat, right? That's pretty fancy. I think that was on my blog on Thursday, I think. And then, guess what else? Connie gave me these amazing sea salt caramel candies, and I just put the little penguin on there. Yeah, so I'm not giving this away as a gift, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can just wrap a belly band around something and make a matching gift card and matching gift. And you'll also notice that I still haven't eaten any more. But when I'm done tonight, I'm having one of these because they're delicious. They are from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. Yeah. So back, back to our winner. Who won this? Rosemarie Foster of Tawanda, Pennsylvania is going to get this little beauty in the mail this week. Yay! Congratulations, you guys. I love giving stuff away. Now, how do I give away all this stuff? Well, when you guys use that host code, that enables me to order things to be able to give away. So, use the host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. But when your order is under $150, nobody gets any rewards unless you use the code. And then I get the rewards and I get to order stuff so I can share with you. That's how it works. I'm going to set these back here. I've got envelopes ready to mail out. Heather, I will be bringing your designer series paper with me to Stamp Club next week. So, yay. Okay. Um... Are we ready to stamp? I think we are. I'm excited. Let's see. I think what I'm going to start with is I was busy all day today getting ready for, well, I was getting ready for tonight, but not so much that, more so I was getting ready for my stamp clubs. And I did some work for tonight too, but I was getting ready for my stamp clubs because I have stamp clubs starting Monday and Tuesday. Oh, and then I have to let you guys know, Wednesday I'm leaving for Iowa, heading down to Iowa. Um, my friends, Barb and Dina, are going to be there, and we're going to head over to Lansing, Michigan for the Stampin' Up! on stage event. So I just want you to know that I am not going to be live next Sunday, which is the 17th, but I may be able to get a Facebook Live not live created. And Sam just popped in from San Diego. Hi, Sam and Cheryl. I know, you guys, all these names are popping up. And I, Lori and Kimberly. Um, so I'm not going to be live next Sunday because I'm going to be out of town. Stamping Up is going to be hosting an onstage event, which is training from... They're hosting it all over the world. And I'm going to be in Lansing, Michigan. So... Hopefully I'll be able to get a Facebook Live not live recorded and I will post it next Sunday night at 7 p.m. I'll keep you updated on that because if I can't get that done before I have to leave on Wednesday morning, I'll tell you. I'm not going to, you know, I won't have anything, but I'm hoping to. And um, 
yeah, I've got, let's see, nine videos I need to shoot tonight. <laughs> so I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm good because I love my job, right? I have the best job in the whole world. So I am up for it. And you know what? Last night, I was so tired last night. I came home. Oh, I have two embossing buddies. That's weird. I came home and I went to bed at 8.30. And I slept till like 8 o'clock this morning. So I, still, I slept for like 12 hours. Who does that? I woke up refreshed and perky and ready to roll this morning. So we're going to have fun tonight. Okay, I think that I am ready. Hang on, let me get a couple more things out here. I don't want to like spill the beans before I'm ready. That's never fun. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love these cards. They are so, so pretty. If I do say so myself. <laughs> and I do. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I got all my bits and pieces out here. I think I'm ready to roll. Let me get rid of that. And we're going to flip. Is everybody ready to flip? Will I? Oh, Teresa's asking, will I get a sneak peek of the new catalog? You bet. We are going to get the new catalog, which is the occasions catalog, comes out like January 4th, I think it goes live. We're going to get that and the celebration brochure. Ah, so excited. Yeah. Oh, Jenny does a 12 hour sleep when she's sick. Yeah, I can sleep a lot when I'm sick too, knock on wood. But I wasn't sick. I was just really, really tired. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. We're going to flip and we're going to start stamping. So hang tight. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. Hopefully I won't mess anything up here. Let me see. Where's my thing? There we go. Okay. Here we come. I have a really cool technique to share with you. Hang on because I got to unmirror my phone. We got to do some magic things. There we go. Okay. Everything so good, good so far, right? Okay, we are going to be using the Christmas Rose and I combined it with the Itty Bitty Christmas because this is a great little greeting set with all those Itty Bitty little greetings. And this, these are the dies that match the Christmas time is here. So um, this is, you know, you can get that whole suite. Oh, I forgot to wear my bracelet, darn it. And you guys remember this project that I made for you right? The gift bag out of the um, Christmas Time is Here designer series paper with the matching card. Yeah, wasn't that beautiful? I can say it's beautiful because, well, it was. <laughs> yeah. You can't hardly make anything that isn't beautiful with this suite of products. All right, here we go. I know things get quieter when I flip my phone around, so you need to turn your volume up and life will be grand. And hang on because I'm going to move my computer so I can see my comments a little bit better. Let me get that over here closer to me. I forgot about that part. Yeah, so if you ask a question and I don't answer you, please ask again. And um, just keep asking until you get an answer from me because sometimes I miss them. They go, they scroll up the screen so fast. Oh, and Bonnie, you're here. I hope you're feeling well, Bonnie. Bonnie had some surgery recently and I hope she's doing good and I am plugged in I'm just messing around with my cord right now okay rich razzleberry this is our card base and it is eight and a half by five and a half oops I buried my bone folder hang on and I see Deb is popping in and Lori welcome you guys then I have two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter and a piece of gray granite. And this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our technique. Now, I have a technique that I use for my stamp clubs every month and this is gonna be it. Oh, hang on. Oh, I need Rich Razzleberry. Hang on. Rich Razzleberry. lost it again. Darn it. Oh, that's Terry Cobbler. Hang on. Sorry, Carrie Bliss. Oh my lord, I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. Whew, it's an old one. I think I have my newer ones packed up for my stamp clubs because I was getting ready for all of those. Um, well, we're not going to use that right now anyways. We are going to use Versamark ink. 
because we're going to do just a little bit of embossing. Now, I have my Christmas rose mounted on my Stamparettas, and I have, um, I'm going to be shooting videos for my online class tonight, so that's why I've got this all mounted up and ready to roll, so I thought, well, why not use it? So I'm going to take this gray granite, and we are going to use our embossing buddy on it. I always like to do that because it keeps the powder where I need the powder to be and not every place else. Put a couple of these little broken magnets in here. Don't let your magnets smack together. They really do break. <laughs> yeah. Ask me how I know. And here we go. I'm inking up that outline image. And I'm going to stamp that in here. Now I do have my pad in here because your Stamparatus comes with a pad. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, we're going to pull that out of here now. And I'm going to bring in my white embossing powder. I like to keep mine in a big bowl. This is a couple jars of it because it's just better if it's you have more substantial embossing powder. I mean, it's just easier for me to use. You don't have to do this, but it's a pretty nifty thing to do. Here we go. And it's nice to be able to just dump it on there like this. Okay, now see, like, I have some messy stuff there. So I have a little paintbrush, and all of that messy stuff will come right off. If you get any edges, you can just hit it with this little paintbrush. I like to do that. Let's get this closed up before I spill it because I'm really good at that. You guys know this about me. I'm kind of messy. And I'm going to close this. And earlier today, look at, I burned my hand right there because I'm using this old decrepit heat tool. My other one is packed up again for my stamp clubs. And I accidentally hit this with my hand today and burned my hand. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be, oh, do I have one done already? Oh, I do. I was going to say this is going to be really loud. But through the magic of TV, I've already done it. Yay! Okay, Woo. that was good. All right, then we have this little piece right here. And I'm going to use from the Itty Bitty Christmas, the Celebrate the Season. I thought this was really pretty and very elegant looking. And again, I'm going to do my embossing buddy. This is just a half inch strip of cherry cobbler. See if I can get that straight. Oh, I did pretty good. Hang on, I gotta take my jacket off. I'm starting to get hot. You know the routine, right? <laughs> yeah. Another hot flash with Kelly. Woohoo! Okay, and then we're gonna pour some powder on there. Oh, look, nothing stuck to it, so that's good. I should say where it wasn't supposed to stick. Then we're gonna heat set this. And through the magic of TV, I have already done that. I'll emboss those a little later so I can use them. Now, I am going to do our technique here. This is a water, no, it's a whitewash technique. And I'm just going to take an aqua painter. This has water in it. And I'm going to grab some of my white craft ink. Look at how pretty that is. Now, I like to just kind of swirl this around. I don't want the whole thing to be covered. I want there to be a little bit left in there. So I'm just kind of doing each little section. You could certainly just swipe your brush across the whole thing and color it all in, but I don't want mine to be all colored in. Isn't that pretty? Now there's one more rose right down here. So I'm just gonna come in here, color this rose just like that. What do you guys think? Is that not gorgeous? And then I've got a tissue here. I'm just going to wipe my aqua painter off, get that white paint out of there, put my cover back on. I would then, when I'm done doing all of these, I would take and run that end under water just to make sure that I have it clean. And somebody's asking cherry cobbler. No, this is rich razzleberry. I don't know if that's what you're asking about or not, but it's rich razzleberry. Okay, so we're done with that, and then I want to bring this back into my Stamparatus because I'm going to do something kind of cool here. I'm going to push this back in the corner and put my magnets back in place. 
I'm going to flip over my plate and we are going to use rich oh here we go rich razzleberry ink on the little dots these are the little berries with the Christmas rose and I'm gonna come in and stamp those now remember I have this all set up so everything matches oh my lord is that not absolutely beautiful and so simple right okay let's move this out of the way Then I'm going to bring in some rhinestones. Grab my take your pick tool here. I'm gonna put a few rhinestones on here. Whoops, whoops, I got two. I thought I only had one. Oh, now I have them. They're making babies, hang on. Oh, jeez. For the love. There we go. <laughs> Put one more right there. And look at how classy is that, right? See this one? A hitchhiker. It's trying to ride with me. There we go. Okay, now we're going to finish this off. What are we going to do with it? Well, first of all, we're going to take one of these white pieces. And I am going to stamp... The greeting that comes with the Christmas rose, it says, may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. And how sweet is that, right? I'm going to stamp that right here. Look, I got it straight even. I didn't have, I didn't stand up. That's impressive. <laughs> and then I just grabbed some snowflakes. Grab some snowflakes from any place. <clears throat> they don't come in the stamp set. These are actually the snowflakes from the Let It Snow. So I just grabbed some snowflakes from any old stamp set because I wanted a little something else inside my card here. Thank you, Denise, for the share. I really appreciate it. Okay, and I've got like a little thing in my throat. Hang on. What are you guys drinking? I got my strawberry lemonade. I have been a really good girl. I'm still drinking that stuff. Okay, we are going to put this gray granite layer on a white layer, which seems kind of silly, but wait until you see the pop. Here we go. And then on the front of our card, now I'm making this a Christmas card doesn't have to be a Christmas card it can be any kind of card but is that not simply gorgeous yeah if you wanted to you could take a um, Wink Estella and put that on the flower let's do that why don't we do it I think I have one out here I do that just popped into my head let's see what the wink will do now it's gonna be really hard for you to see this in a camera right but Oh my goodness, the glimmer on this. Oh, can you see it now? It is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna put some up here on this flower too. Beautiful, oh, I hear my husband talking to his Alexa. <laughs> he said to put something on the grocery list. <laughs> Did I awaken your Alexa at home? Yeah, I still don't have mine set up to work. I bought one for my office. And um, I have not got her going yet, but I'm hoping she can be my assistant. That's what I'm hoping. Like I can have some lists and say, add this to my video idea list, add this to my order list, add this to my stamp club list, you know? I'm hoping that's gonna work out. So I bought another Echo Dot, so I would be able to do that. I am flagged the end here. This is the Rich Razzleberry little strip it's only half inch wide and I'm putting mini dimensionals on it <gasps> Gina has a Bloody Mary yay and Sandy got home to watch me and I'm just gonna put this right here now this could be a congratulations card this could be a birthday card this could be a get well card it could be a sympathy card oh my goodness it could be an invitation to a New Year's party <gasps> isn't it beautiful what do you guys think very simple, very classic, clean and crisp. 
water, no, um, whitewash technique. That's what it's called. Yay! I love it. Should I show you some others that I made? I know you guys usually like to see others, right? Or I like to make them for you. I don't know. I think you guys like it. Hang on. Here comes Rich Razzleberry. Yeah. And because the cardstock is dark, this didn't turn out white because it's kind of translucent, right? That's Rich. No, that's Blackberry Bliss. Rich Razzleberry, Blackberry Bliss. Let's get this out of here so it looks really pretty. <gasps> And Cherry Cobbler. Ah! All the insides are the same. Cherry Cobbler. Blackberry Bliss. Rich Razzleberry. What do you think? Yay! Which one do you like so far? Which is your favorite? Rich Razzleberry with the gray granite or the Blackberry Bliss or the Cherry Cobbler? You chime in and let me know. I am going to put all the things away so that we can get the next one out. I have a gift card holder to make with you guys next, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. And then I have another one to show you. So I use two different kinds of paper, um, two different kinds of designer series paper, I should say. And I think you're gonna love it. So I have two different samples to show you. Oh my goodness, here we go. So while I get all of this unloaded, hang tight. Okay, we are going to be using the Cup of Christmas for the gift card holder. Now, if you don't have the Cup of Christmas or the Cup of Christmas is not on your list that you're going to order, don't go any place because you're going to love this gift card holder and you can use it with anything basically. But I think you're going to fall in love with this. And it's my job for you to do that, right? <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> okay, and then I have a whole bunch of cards I can show you using this suite or this bundle of products. So, oh, hang on. Um, I got to find my, my stuff stuff here. Here we go. My stamp set. Got everything mounted and ready to roll. Is that all I need? Oh, here's some more. Tear and tape. There we go. Okay. Here comes my cheat sheet because that's got my instructions on it because you guys know I can't remember a darn thing ever, ever, ever. And here comes our cardstock base. And all of our bits and pieces. Holy cow. Don't get scared away. This is super, super fun. <laughs> Donna, Donna, Donna. Donna saying, I do not need this set. I do not need this set. I do not need this set. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. We are going to take, this is our Coastal Cabana layer. And... This is five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna bring in that brand new paper cutter here and we are going to score. So let me open up the arm. We are going to score at four and a quarter and seven and a quarter. All right, next. We're of course going to fold and burnish on these edges. So I'm gonna do that middle fold and then this one we're gonna fold it in instead of out. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Here we go. I am going to, oh, where'd my mat go? Here it is. We're gonna bring our, pierce, this is just a piercing mat. We I sell these and I just wrap it with printer paper to keep it from getting stamped on. This little layer for the inside is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. You guys know all the dimensions will be above this video. Once I'm done being live, I will go in and type up all the dimensions for you so you'll find them in one place. Also, as soon as I get this video downloaded, 
um, to my computer and then uploaded to YouTube, I put it on my blog where you will find still photos of all the projects so you can like see them rather than have them go by in a video. And that'll be right on my blog right here, www.astampabove.com. I will try my very best to get that done tonight. I've got a lot of things to do tonight, don't I? And you're like, well, Kelly, you did sleep in till 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> okay, a scrap of Whisper White Real Red and Shaded Spruce. And then I have oh, the ever beautiful Glimmer Paper. This is our Real Red Glimmer Paper. And this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of Costa Cabana. And this is, nope, I'm sorry. That's, this is three by four and a half. I'm so sorry. This is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap of our Let It Snow designer series paper. And here is all the whole thing. This is specialty paper. It's got glitter on one side of most of these patterns. Beautiful, beautiful paper. And then I have two strips of this one. And this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. No, by five and a half. And this is one by five and a half. So these are both five and a half. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do here is we are going to add our designer series paper to the inside of our card. Let's move these out of the way. Here we go. I'm just going to push it down so I can get it right up against that edge nicely. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I love the red with this. Then we're going to take this one. This is the one inch one. That's the wider. This is the one inch. And I'm going to put this right in here. There we go. Then I'm going to take this one wide one and where's my ink pads does anybody see ink pads here oh, hang on. what did i need here i needed hang on you guys take a drink i'll be right back It shouldn't be that hard to find real red. It's Christmas time for Pete's sakes. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to use the real red right here on the greeting for the inside. Let me stand up so I can get this straight. There we go. Oh, isn't that cute? And then I'm going to come in with the Coastal Cabana. Or maybe I should use the Shaded Spruce. I think I'll use Shaded Spruce. No, I'm going to go with Coastal Crown. Okay, hang on while I throw my ink pads around. Now again, this is the Cup of Christmas stamp set. And the stamp set is pretty unique. I'll show you on a scrap in just a second how this whole thing works. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, just a little bit of ivy down here. I thought that was would look nice. We're going to glue this inside our card. And let me get this out of the way. These just go right in here, this panel does. Now you could whip up a whole bunch of these and they could be anything you need them to be. Christmas, birthday, <clears throat> baby shower, wedding shower. I've got some tear and tape and I'm gonna put that right here on this little tab that folds over. And I like to use tear and tape because I don't want my card falling apart. You definitely cannot use a tape runner here. It will not stick. Just trust me on that one. And, yeah, Kathy's saying she loves this set. I do too. <laughs> and she's telling Jean that. So Jean, yes, we know you're going to get it. You're not going to fool anybody here. <laughs> All right. Then we've got this little piece. And this piece is, let me think about this for a minute. This one is two and a half by four, I think. I don't want to lie to you, so hang on. Yep, four by two and a half. Okay, we're going to take the cup of cheer, and I think I am going to stamp that in the Coastal Cabana. I'm going to put that 
right up here. Oh, adorable. And then we're gonna get out the dies. Here comes the dies, and oh my gosh, you guys, they have just the cutest things in here, and I'll show you a whole bunch of card samples. I'm gonna die cut the cup out of, let me see what's going on here. This one goes here and here and here, and hang on, I got confused. It's a thing, and it happens. There we go, okay, I'm gonna die cut the cup and the designer series paper and the real red cardstock. You know you can run this through your big shot all at the same time and cut it all out, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna grab these holly leaves and I'm gonna die cut that on the shaded spruce. And then I would take my candy cane and die cut it in right here on the glimmer paper and then I had oh here's a white take the white and die cut that okay so if you die cut all of these things they're gonna look like this and I've already done it to save time because you guys know that I like to do that okay whoo oh we don't need a white one. Oh yeah we do oh I know I decided at the last minute to use the real red glimmer the real red cardstock is nice, but the red glimmer is really spectacular. So I decided to use that. So I'm going to glue my candy cane together. These are so, so pretty and can be used for so many things. And I just put some little dots in between the holes on here and match this right up. I'll make sure I get it matched up good. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. <gasps> Beautiful. And then I'm going to take my cup and I'm gonna offset it just a little bit so you can see the red behind it. Just like this. Isn't that cute? Okay. And then we've got these and our candy cane. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the candy cane over here. Oh, and by the way, this gift card, it was made with, um, I'll show you the original that I got, but um, it was made and designed by my friend Sandy Carlson, by the way, I did not design this. She used the brightly gleaming designer series paper. Look how cute that is, okay? You could use mini glue dots, you could use glue, you could use whatever works for you here. I like to use the tape because it's always sitting right there on my desk and it's quick and easy, just like that. Isn't that sweet? Look at how cute that is. Okay, dimensionals. Let me find some dimensionals. We're gonna put these on. Gosh, it just seems so quiet in here. I wish you guys could talk to me while I'm doing this because, I don't know, for some reason it seems really lonely tonight. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, I'm going to pull the backing off of these and that'll be ready to go. Now, we're going to layer this on here. My husband just... My husband just yelled at me. He's in the kitchen. I don't know why he's saying that. Okay, I'm gonna use mini glue dots to glue this Coastal Cabana cardstock to my glimmer paper. What did you say? What do you mean you're lonely? I'm here. I know, but it's quiet and there's like, these guys, I can't hear them. That's what I mean. Well, they're talking at you. I know, but it seems lonely. Stop, go back to the kitchen. <laughs> there you go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now. Goodbye, everybody. I um, got kicked out. He did get kicked out. Okay, so there we go. Oh, my Lord. Um, okay, so this, I use mini glue dots to add this to the glimmer. Now, I find that glue doesn't like to stick to this glimmer, the, the glimmer paper. And so mini glue dots stick really good. So that's what I used. Now we're going to take this and add glue and put this right on the front. So we got all these little layers going on. And then here comes our card. 
which is absolutely smashingly beautiful. Now I'm just going to put glue over here on the side. I'm not going to put it over here, but just right over here. You're just going to center this in the middle of your card. And then I'm going to take this cup of cheer, put it right down here. Whoops, hang on. Ah, let go, you meanie. I want to center it. There we go. All right, and hang on. Where did that, um, where did that thing go? I am looking for the penguin. Oh, I don't know where the penguin card went, you guys. But anyways, hang on. Whoops, things are falling again. We're gonna pretend this is a gift card, okay? And here we go. Here goes our little gift card right there. What do you think? Is that not stinking adorable? Yeah. So I wanted to show you a few things about this stamp set. So hang tight. The stamp set is um, the first of its kind for stamping up. It's pretty cool because these cups that are in here are, you can do them either way you want. They can get mounted on the block either way. So let me grab a block here quick and I'll show you how this works. take the green and you can ink it up this way. Oh, I didn't ink it up very good, so I kind of messed up there. Then we're going to clean it off and we're going to turn it over. Oops. Because you can stamp it both ways. So you can have a cup of coffee facing each other. Okay? So that's really cool. And all of these cups do that. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Oh, here's the little polka dotty one too. So there's just another one that you can do that with. You can do both ways. Let's get this on here. And we can stamp it here. How cute is that? And then let me clean it off. We're gonna flip it over and stamp it the other way. Oops, I didn't get that inked up very good, but you see, <laughs> kind of a mess inking this up. But now you can take the die and cut this out, okay? You can also cut from the back side so that you get two cups going either way. So, oh, no, I'm sorry, here we go. There is two dies. I was thinking, oh, you have to do it from the back, but nope, there's two of them in here. So you could have a cup going that way, a cup going that way, whatever you need. These are super cool. And then we have these overlays that can go over the cup. So you can die cut a cup here and then put some fancy die cut images on there. We have some little like twigs, sprigs. This particular one cuts out part of this flower, I think. Yep, I think that's what it does. You have a bow. And you have some tags in here along with the candy cane. That was super cute. So this is called Cup of Christmas. And you can get it as a bundle when you order the dies with the stamps. You get a 10% discount. So I always recommend that. You're going to want both anyways. For those of you that thought you didn't need this set, you're wrong. <laughs> I know an enabler you just tell whoever you need to tell that Kelly said it's a must-have for your stamping library now can you see making some cute little cocoa packets or some um, yeah I there's just so many things I see making using this so I'll show you the other one the one that Sandy sent me because it is absolutely adorable I added the little sprigs in there with the gold isn't that pretty this uses the Christmas gleaming. Oh, here's my gift card. 
um, designer series paper. This is also in the holiday mini catalog, but is that not fabulous? Knight of Navy with pretty peacock and gold foil paper. Yeah. Somebody just asked something and Catherine said, pretty sure it's still available. Um, all of this paper is still available. This is the Let It Snow designer series paper. And this is the Brightly Gleaming, I think it's called, but it's part of the Brightly Gleaming Sweet designer series paper. So yeah, still available. So that's fabulous. Oh good, Terry didn't send in her order yet. I'm glad you didn't either, Terry, because you definitely want to add this. You're going to love, love, love this particular um, stamp set, bundle I should say. It's going to serve you well for years to come. And it's also going to be great for little stocking stuffers. And maybe I'll try to make something with it um, that has like maybe a little cocoa packet or something. I love making stuff like that. So let me get out. I was going to set, I was going to show you guys a whole bunch of cards made with this suite. So let me move this out of the way. Before I do that, I want to bring this back in here. I completely forgot that this is part of my whitewash. Remember these cards that I made for um, the Totally Techniques blog hop? Yeah, so this is the same technique I used on these. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, let me get out the uh, Cup of Christmas card. So hang tight. I have a whole bunch of them. Okay, here we go. Some of them are in cellophane bags, so you're going to have to be patient. Oh, Jean says do something that's not Christmas. I believe we have some stuff in here that's not Christmas. I don't know where this just came from. Like, why did that come off of there? Maybe it just sits in there. Look at how cute that is. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing on the inside. I don't, I'm not sure. That's just be sitting there. I don't know. I didn't make this card. Who made this card? Candy Michaels did. She's a friend of mine. Here comes another one. Hang on, I'll hold these up too. This is another card from Candy Michaels. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. That is just adorable. She ran it through the swirls embossing folder. So these are both cards from Candy love these. Okay, and then we have this cutie patootie. I don't know who made this one. Isn't that pretty? Here comes another one. Love the little ivy on there. Here comes another one. Yeah, super, super cute, right? Looking to see if there's anything on the inside. There isn't in the, on the inside of these. Nope. Look at how cute that is. I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, look at all the red rhinestones. That's pretty. I love these colors together. Gorgeous. Here comes another one. That's cute. Now, this one isn't Christmas. Yeah, in any of these, you could change the designer series paper and the colors, and that doesn't need to be Christmas, sending you a cup of cheer. Here's one. This is fall. This isn't Christmas. Oh, there's another one coming that isn't Christmas, too. I love using things for different reasons, right? Look at, they use the um, puff paint for a little froth on the top of that hot chocolate, or this is probably a pumpkin spice thing, right? Here comes another one. Yvonne said she thought she didn't need this set. You were wrong, Yvonne. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is in purple. Yeah, and this is a birthday card. Here comes a pretty Christmas one. Oh, you know what? That die, actually, I haven't used all of this set yet, but that die cuts out that flower. I didn't realize that. That's what that's, that die in there is for. Yeah, I should really investigate my product a little better. What do you think? 
Oh, look at this. <gasps> there we go. Another gift card holder. This one was made by Mindy Gray. Super cute. Love that. Here comes another one. This one doesn't have to be Christmas. This uses the um, specialty paper from the Feels Like Frost. And look at that silver. That's so pretty, isn't it? And then they used the other end of the candy cane and made a straw. So instead of using the end that has a little hook part on it, they just used, whoops, I think Barb, my friend Barb made this one, whoops. <laughs> they just used that end for a straw, isn't that cute? She's a genius, I'll tell ya. Here's, oh, they used that striped one here. I have a couple more cards made with this that I'm going to be featuring, um, either on my blog and videos or on my Facebook Live. I'm, I'm hoarding them because I know I have some time coming up where I'm gonna be gone and I need some content for you guys. So I've been kind of saving them. So I do have more ideas with this bundle. Gosh, I just love these. I'm really lucky. Oh, look, here's another gift card holder. I didn't even realize that. How super cute is that? Who made this one? Judy Garza. Absolutely adorable. And then I think this is the last one I have, unless I show you the ones I made, which I'm not going to yet. <laughs> you have something to look forward to. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love these, these are gorgeous. Okay, so we have this whitewash technique. Beautiful, right? And then a couple great gift card holders. Am I still on the screen? I never know. I'm kind of getting off, aren't I? There we go, gift card holders. I did not design this one, this is by Sandy. My um, stamp clubs are gonna be making this and this this month, along with a penguin card. So I think they're gonna love that. I think a penguin card, I don't know. We'll see. Cool, right? Okay, don't forget, if you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. They help me stay in business and help me keep these free videos coming to you. Hop right on over here, www.stampabove.com. That's going to take you to my blog. You're going to find in the right-hand column is an online ordering button. Also is our annual catalog and our holiday catalog. You can click on those and, and peruse through the entire catalog. Also, don't forget to use that host code when you're placing an order because that will get you special perks with me. And only use it if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use that code. You're going to get some... Rewards from Stampin' Up, and I want you to have those. And I have really held off and not eaten any more of these since you guys saw me last time when I made this cute little belly band. And so now, oops, let's see if I can get it back on there. Now I'm going to have another one of these. And did anybody have any questions that I didn't see? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is to die for, I'm telling you. To die for. Mm, love it. Okay. I will not be live next Sunday, but I may have a Facebook Live not live, which is a pre-recorded Facebook Live that I will share with you at 7 p.m. on November 17th, 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to try really hard to get that done. Yeah. I go to Maurice's a lot. Did you tell? <laughs> this was really cute. So, um, I hope you can join me then. If I can't get that accomplished before I have to leave on Wednesday, I will definitely know, let you guys know that it's not coming, okay? Because I know that can be kind of disappointing. And I want to thank you for watching my video tonight, for having fun along the way, for trying to resist this. Yeah, you can't do it. It's impossible. Just... Break down and buy it. You know you want it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Char. I am going to have fun on my trip to Lansing, Michigan. There's nothing better than getting together with Stamping Up people. Um, they are the nice stampers, first of all, are the nicest people. Stampin' Up events are phenomenal. And um, there's a bus heading down from Wisconsin with I don't know how many team members on it. But it's full. And... Everybody's headed to Lansing. We're going to have a blast. 
and maybe next time you can come with, you know? This is not just for people building a business. If you want to be a discount shopper, join my team. You will absolutely love it. You can become part of something so much bigger than just stamping by yourself at home. You get to be part of a team. Whether you want to build a business, you don't have to. You can just be a discount shopper. And a discount shopper is a happy shopper. Yeah, everybody should be getting a discount. That's what I think. Join my team. There is a $99 kit in the right hand column um, button that you can get all the details and always feel free to ask me any questions. My email is Kelly. So instead of www, it's Kelly at a stamp above.com. All right, you guys, I have a whole bunch of videos to make and I do not want to chew on TV. So I'm going to have to let you go so I can eat my caramel from Marquette, Michigan. <laughs> all right. Have a great week. Bye-bye.